Hello, this is Zach Good. I'm a solution advisor here at Navigator Business Solutions. And today I'm going to display a high level demonstration of the S4 HANA public cloud platform. Logging into the solution, this is my home dashboard screen. And the first thing I'd like to do with a morning cup of coffee is see, is see how my business is operating. I wanna know how my supplier performance is going. So using my insight cards, I drill into my supplier insight card and it gives me graphical representation and from here I can manipulate the data. I can change it from a bar graph to a line chart, a pie chart, etc. I can also view it in an Excel point of view where I can export this to Excel. If I want to filter on some more specific information, I can use the concept of lassoing and now the system gives me more options to filter this data by. Let's say I want to view it by supplier. Now I have indication of this data that's tangible by supplier. Now I want to investigate more information around this data. By using the jump to functionality, maybe I want to see all my purchase orders. SAP provides that capability that I can continue to drill into information with the spirit of few clicks. Now I'm in my purchase order information and I can view the overall record. Certainly there is a time where you need help or guidance on how this application works. SAP does a wonderful job of supplying user adoption built within the platform. Anywhere on a screen, you can select your question mark and the system's going to provide you information. You can say, take a quick tour or what is this app? And SAP will provide the documentation if you're a person that likes to follow documentation on how to and view the information. If you're a visual learner like myself, using the graduation hat here, I now can do different tutorials, which are embedded e-learnings within the platform that guide you as an end user on how to use the solution. You can see here, it takes me into my displaying purchase orders. And when I start the tutorial, I now can click through and the system will guide me through the application. It's real life within the S4 HANA public platform, and now I'm guiding and clicking through the solution on how to adopt it. Going back into S4 HANA public cloud, I wanna to touch a little bit more on my home dashboard screen. It's very user-friendly. You can use your home settings, adapt your, home using user settings, for example, and let's say I don't want to see my inside tiles and cards. Simply removing that, I now can make the dashboard, my home screen, more user-friendly to my liking. SAP S4 HANA Public Cloud provides workflows through any process within your solution. They'll show up as tasks, whether that's an approval process, or if you have situ situations where are more notifications, you can receive those notifications. Maybe a price is too high and you want to be notified or an item is almost out of stock. You can receive those situations via text message, email, or within the platform. SAP S4 HANA Public Cloud is built on what's called a federated suite of applications. Think of this as your iPhone or Android device. You have your cell phone, but many different applications run on that phone doing different functionalities. The same concept goes for SAP. Here you can see all the applications, certainly with user access that you can add to your home dashboard screen. And SAP provides the capability to group those in different ways. You have your spaces up top that you can group stuff, for example, if you're in purchasing, that you can group all your different applications by tiles in the purchasing section. Or if you're a person that likes to have pages, you can do the same thing as well and access the same information. Down below, you can have individual applications that you can drill into those in individual applications as well as group them into folders. SAP is an intelligent enterprise, so it has machine learning capabilities throughout the entire platform. You can see within my applications, I have my favorites, but the system recognizes my most used applications my recently used applications, as well as recommended. And what the system does is understands what you've been working on currently within the platform, 
and it will suggest applications that are similar. For example, I did a demonstration last week for a client that is involved in project management. You can see the system is suggesting that I use create customer project application or plan customer project. It's a very intelligent enterprise. And again, the, the end goal is to drive efficiency and be as optimal as possible. SAP also provides artificial intelligence capabilities. Its new co-pilot Joel is a platform that allows users to guide through the system application and work efficiently. Let's say I'm working in professional services and I'd like to view all my service contracts within the platform. I simply can message Joel and say, please display a list of service contracts. And the system will take that information, recognize it, digest it, and provide that output for you. And from there, you can access the service contracts that you have in the platform. I now want to touch on the concept of enterprise search. The enterprise search is a global search within the S4HANA public cloud platform that allows you to type in anything and search and find that information and investigation in an efficient manner. Let's say I'm in customer service and a client calls about a sales order. The representative lets me know that they have a question about sales order 243 and they wanna know why delivery is being delayed. In customer service, I can type in 243 while being on the phone and it's going to filter that information. I drill into the sales order and with anything with a hyperlink, I can dive into that specific order and now I'm on the information and I can see that there is a delivery issue and it allows me to investigate into further detail. Maybe I want to digest this and work on it with a, co a colleague. SAP out of the box has built in Microsoft team that I now can collaborate with my team members via chat, a tab or as a card. Everything that you see on the screen is interactive. So going back to that delivery issue, I now can drill into my delivery issue, pull my delivery performance. It's going to take me into my delivery performance screen where I apply my filters and execute and now will give me insight as to what has taken place. I now can see that a delivery is delayed by 84 days. This allows me to interact with team members that I can get the appropriate information and relay that information back to the client. Again, the system is very user friendly. So if I were to go into my production engineering, I can edit this information by editing the current page. If I need to add a specific tile or application, simply by adding tile and searching and clicking the plus icon, I can add that information to my user screen and adapt it to my current likings. Applications, interactive that you can move and drag and drop. And there are different applications for different processes. You can see here, I'm in my production planning. I have many features that handle the current state of my business. However, there is predictive MRP, for example, that allows me to look around the corner and handle future demand. It's interactive across all boards. And so what predictive MRP is, is it allows you to create intelligent business planning, test simulations of future demand, and you can see how it interacts with your business. For example, I have future demand coming in for the, the remaining of the year. And the system is no, notifying me that based off of what's booked and the capacity set that I have issues. For example, I see I have, from the inspector perspective, I have material constraints and capacity overloads. This allows me to change my simulation view where I can see the issues from a capacity perspective in my production planning, where I now can view the information and change my available capacity as well as looking at it from a materials perspective. So I can view the components as well for a bill of materials and see where I have component constraints and make changes to those constraints. 
again, working across multiple departments in one single point of view and truth. SAP also provides many different information around purchasing, sales, your inventory, et cetera, that allow you to guide and work in one single five unified platform. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day.